Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm making this video to provide updated settings guide on the invite-only script Auto Harmonic Pattern Ultimate X. Uh, this is not really a new script, uh, it's published on May 9th, um, but I couldn't get time to do a how-to video um, or settings guide video. Uh, this also indicated uh, supersedes existing uh, version of Auto Harmonic Pattern Ultimate. Uh, which is also which is also into invite only script, but uh, it's it's not deprecated and not being used anymore. Uh, and also, the, all the new users are um, you know given access only to the new script Ultimate X one. Uh, and uh, and existing users of the script have also been moved to the new version. Uh, and we suggest not to use this one because we are not maintaining this anymore. Right. Um, and with this, let's get started with the settings guide. So when you load a chart, you see following things. One is um, pattern drawings, and then the pattern trade suggestions, and the open uh, pattern statistics. I like you know, it. It has a bit more. It's the same uh, stats as what is present here, but in a tabular format. And maybe a bit more details, such as you know risk reward and percentage, etc. Uh, you can find them here. And then there is a closed trade, a trade stats table, which is. Um, which is uh, kind of a backtest results, right? Let's get into the details of the settings uh, with this. So if you go to the settings, um, like, you know, most of the things which are, which you can see here, um, they're available, uh, you know, uh, you can go through the tool tips on most of the settings and, you know, understand what they are. Um, but having said that, um, we'll not go through all the settings today because it's not going to it's going to take a lot of time we'll go to some of the important ones and uh, see how we can make use of them um, to study this indicator better or study the price action using this indicator better right um, the first and foremost thing is um, these four options which you see here so use only confirm bars and ignore if entry closed um, closed above. So use only confirm bars in the sense to identify a pattern, use the last bar, not the current bar. Um, this is important because current bar will always be repainting, right? So current price, for example, if you are using this bar, when it's happening uh, to identify a pattern, you find the pattern here, and then what happens price moves further down right and then the pattern is not there anymore because the pattern is supposed to stop here so um, pattern is not there anymore but you still get an alert saying that there was a pattern so that kind of repainting can happen if you're using a current bar to avoid that what you need to do is or oh, use only confirmed bars so when you use confirmed bars um, completely the confirmed bars you will not get that kind of issues but having said that um, using confirmed bars has a different challenges for example let's say this pattern is formed here and price went straight up after forming the pattern and you didn't get alert because you know you're waiting for the pattern you know this part to complete right so you get an alert late and by the time you get alert the price has already moved up so in order to handle this um what we have done is we cannot avoid we cannot have both of them we can only have um we can only have one of them actually we can if you go with the real time bar you get real time alerts but you can you can also get false alerts but if you use a like in a confirmed bar you may not get a real time alert but you can also what you can do is you can ignore if closed above entry if they, you can check this option it means that it will not send an alert for this kind of pattern where pattern is formed and also cross the entry on the same bar right so it happens in the next bar it gives the alert but if it happens in the same bar it won't give the alert so these two options are very important if you are uh, you know using auto trading um, based on the bots or anything um, that will help you safeguard about false alarms as well as uh, you know um, you know risk um, or uh, late alarms etc but if you're using uh, this indicator for manual trades and you only need um, you know, this indicator for suggesting the patterns or scanning the patterns, you don't need to select these options. So by default, these are disabled, but you need to enable this if you are looking to uh, trade via bots, right? And then trail entry price. Trail entry price is uh, nothing but, let's say the pattern has formed here, 
um, maybe let's do a replay and uh, reach here and see what it says. If it still gives a pattern. Yeah, there is still a pattern. If you see that, the pattern is still there. So, but the entry is here and the stop is here. Um, this is uh, this is the range of the pattern. So let's say if I move this uh, bar a little bit more, what happens? The price went down, right? So price went down, but the pattern, um, you know, the, the entry range, right? That also can go further down if price can go down. So that's what is called as trailed entry. So let's say if I keep moving this further, this goes up, goes up, goes up. So if price goes further down than existing D, okay, if you see this, price went, okay, it's created a different pattern now. So it's not the same pattern. But if I go further, what happens? It created a D and you see that the entries is kind of coming back, coming down. Like, you know, it's trying to give a better entry. It moved from 1219 to 1216. So if I do further again, so at 1216.32, it was slightly uh, much, much further better price. So if I keep further down, it keeps moving down, right? So 1216.11.95 yeah, now. So the price keeps moving down as and when the pattern moves down. That's called as trailing entry. So this will give you uh, help you give better price, entry price um, when this is enabled. So you can use this option if you um, if you want to get a better trailing price. Um, and also it means that uh, with the trailing price, your uh, risk also gets lower and lower. Like, you know, uh, if your stop also gets lower as well, um, and it's up to you, like, you know, if you do not um, and if you do not make a trailing entry, what happens like price will keep here price will keep entry price will keep at the same uh, same level but only the stop keeps moving so that kind of um, changes your risk reward and other things um, you know you can uh, you can look into these all these things in the stats and uh, decide what you want how you want to um, handle this or how you want to use this Okay, that's about the trial entry price uh, and uh, this is about the first part of it in generic settings other things are pretty simple you can actually go through the um, you know uh, tool tips and standard um, better uh, and the next one is the filters so if you want to filter based on a size of the um, pattern let's say this pattern is a very big one and you don't want to trade this big pattern, let's say, uh, let's go to scale. And this pattern size is 895 bars, all right? So you don't want to trade that many big patterns. So what you can do is select pattern size. Let's say you want to trade only 500, uh, the patterns which are at most 500 bars. So when you do that, what happens is the bigger patterns are filtered out. So again, it may not be a good outcome, but uh, we want you to, if you're using this uh, indicator, we want you to try all these things and find your sweet, uh, sweet spot. And similarly, percentage uh, with respect to size, right? You know, you can choose a pattern based on its size. Size is nothing but, um, you know, percentage from top to bottom. Like what we discussed, they are discovered now is uh, this one, this particular um, width. With this, like um, it is, um, it is the like number of bars. It's mainly about number of bars. But if you want, if you want to uh, filter it based on um, the max and min price, uh, and that's where the second filter comes into picture. Pattern size. Apart from that, you can also use external filter. So there is a video which I made um, separately, and I will not discuss this here. And you can refer to this how to uh, use external filters on auto harmonic pattern ultimate X. You can refer to this video, um, which will tell you how to build your own filter and how to use them with um, this particular option. Right. And then coming to the next points, next important points is trailing, um, trailing and target. Uh, so you can disable the trailing or you can set the trailing uh, for different uh, levels. For example, break even means 
after reaching target two, it will move the stop loss to the entry. It will not uh, trail further, but it will only move the stop loss to entry. That's so that you know your trade is break even. At the break even stage, you really cannot lose more money, but you don't want to trail very aggressively as well. And similarly, continuous means it will continuously trail after reaching target two. So it means that no trailing will happen until you reach target two. And once the target two is reached, it will keep trailing for every tick, right? And then uh, stepped means it will only trail after reaching particular levels. For example, target two, when you come to target two, the trailing is more to uh, entry. And when you reach target three, the trailing will move target one and so on. So that's a slightly different way of uh, trailing, but uh, you can use it anyway. Right, and uh, I keep I prefer to keep this disabled um, because uh, I generally use up to target two. I do not go beyond target three and target four. Um, so I, I prefer to use this as target. Uh, keep the default as uh, disabled and uh, set the trading start state to target two. So now the entry percent. Entry percent is nothing but you don't want to trade a pattern as soon as it hits a bottom because what happens in a strong trend is it keeps going down and it it will hit the stop so the entry percent will say that how much percentage of retracement it should happen before making an entry right this is um, this is the base let's say um, there are different bases like um, impulse retracement or ad cd or minimum and maximum of these so the default value of base is min that means that uh, it will use minimum of, um, um, you know, uh, impulse or retracement. And 30% uh, of this minimum base, 30% uh, of the base when it reached, it says, let's go for entry. So below, before 30%, you do not enter the trade until it hits the ent entry price. You do not enter any trade. You can also, what you can also do is uh, once you create an alert, once you get an alert for a pattern, you can put a stop order here in the entry price, right? And uh, this entry, like, you know, if it hits the stop order, um, then you, you go along. Otherwise, you know, no opportunity is lost. So if it comes directly and hits the, uh, hits the stop, you can just cancel your pending order and, um, you know it won't it won't end up where you won't end up in loss because of that so this way you can avoid um lots of false patterns or um you know bad rates uh, using this mechanism <clears throat> okay um and the next important thing is again a stop percent again uh what is the where do you want to place the stop for example if you look at this i'll get out of the replay more if you look at this um, stop is at the zero D level. So it means that uh, if you look at this one here, I'm sorry, open the code. If you look at the um, value of stop percentage zero, that means that it's at the D level. So if you increase the stop level, let's say five. So that means that stop will come here slightly lower. So that also mean that you changed your risk reward, right? And also it will change your uh, win ratio. So these two factors, right? Um, these three factors, of course, uh, base, entry, and stop. Uh, this will influence your uh, win rate and uh, risk reward a lot. You can experiment a lot on this and uh, try to set different values and um, see how uh, what will you know um what what will get your better results or uh, what will work better for you but keep in mind that if you reduce your uh, entry percent too low like uh, for example five and two five something like that that means that you know you may get lots of false results all right that's because uh, you know there is not enough uh, room for price to move up right it will it will give you lots of uh, um you know um you know immediate entries so it will be become difficult for you to you know weed out the false trades right if you see that if you make the entry percent as five um the win rate is reduced to 15 
but you can also see that risk reward has been pretty, is pretty high now but it's not very reliable because um, it may it may give lots of false uh, stats or false uh, you know entries so i want to keep it uh, at a little bit higher rate so that uh, you won't you won't be it will be safeguarded with uh, you know um, uh, for repainting and other things okay um the, the the target levels as you know like you know it's again based on the fib ratio based on the base um you can set your target levels at uh, different levels right and uh, the target levels you can select from the drop down but if these values are not present in uh, you know if you have uh, the value which you're looking for is not present here what you can do is you can select this and you can uh, add a different value Thing like that okay so that will change the entry percent there for target one yeah you can see that target one is here now um and when you're selecting the entries and targets just please make sure that uh, you select appropriate values do not select target two more than target one or entry more than target two that kind of things that will again lead to lots of false information on the back test etc right um and the last thing is um, the number of patents available there are a number of patents available um you can uh, select uh, like by default a uh, classic and anti-patents are selected non-standard patents which are present here they're not selected by default but you can choose to test them and uh, select if you're if you're comfortable trading them uh, the reason why it's not selected by default is uh, that some of the patterns are very extreme and have a very high PIZ range, uh, which can lead to some issues. Um, you know, when you are doing it, when you are, uh, it it may also actually suppress a lot of other patterns. That's why you know I tried I thought of um, disabling this by default. And these are the display options. You can go through them and understand them. Uh, it's not um, it's um, it's not very complex. Um, the stats um, there is open stats. Uh, you can actually um, choose to display percentage risk reward or enhanced risk reward, etc. These kind of uh, details you can choose to display or not display them. Um, these are again very straightforward. Uh, if you want a simple table um, just disable these options so and going to the closed trades um, again these trades uh, statistics they can be uh, percentage based or it, it can be a number based so if you do if you select a if you unselect a percentage based you'll get a number absolute numbers on like you know how many patterns hit um, target one two three four etc so um, you can use this um, like you know if you are more comfortable with the numbers rather than percentage and this one the mode display mode is uh, three types one is compact means it will only show the total it will not show individual patterns detailed means it will show all the individual patterns and which may which may take up a lot of space and it may uh, it may come in the way of the chart so do not select that uh, generally and selective means uh, it will show the total pattern uh, count and also the count for uh, the stats for patterns which are uh, which are open right so i prefer to keep the default option which is selective and finally um, the alerts uh, again alerts are uh, by, you know you, alerts are set using alert function not the alert condition there is again uh, another video on how to customize alerts in auto harmonic scripts right you can uh, um, it will take some time to explain this uh, so i will not do it in as part of this video maybe um, you know i suggest users to go through this particular video on uh, specifically made for uh, alerts and uh, make use of that to understand how to how to use these settings to set your alerts okay um the back test bars how many bars you want to back test etc and uh, that's all um about the highlights of this settings guide today um let me know if you have any questions further question thanks for watching see you bye